channel. We are so excited because Aislinn and I are gonna make three different types of hot chocolate today. The first one we are going to try is a peppermint Nutella hot chocolate. The next one is what, Aislinn? Is the Grinch and the last one's a unicorn. Aislinn is all decked out in her unicorn onesie, ready to make unicorn hot chocolate. Are you ready to get started? Yeah, I'm excited to do the unicorn. <laughs> Let's do this. The very first thing you will need is some um, pure vanilla extract. And we have Nutella. You'll need some Nutella, mm -hmm. of course. You will need some chocolate chips. And some salt. Yep. Some crushed candy cane. We have two cups of milk uh -huh. and heavy cream. Okay, so we also found two really awesome things Aislinn is showing you. One of them is um, peppermint candy spoons. These spoons are actually edible. Are you excited to taste those? Yes! I hope they're really good. And the next thing we got is these cute little snowman with candy canes. I think these aren't really marshmallows, they're just decorations, like sugar decorations, to add to your hot cocoa. Okay guys, we are going to use this heavy whipping cream and add half a cup as well to the milk. You wanna pour it in there, Ace? Yeah. Okay, go I ahead. I think we were supposed to get a different kind of whipping cream for this part, but that's okay. We're just gonna use Whoa. what we have. Okay, that much? perfect, yes, half a cup. Aislinn is doing half a cup of Nutella. So we're gonna just pour the Nutella into the bowl. So Aislinn volunteered to do a spoon licking duty. Mm -hmm. Thank goodness for mm -hmm. Aislinn. Clean up crew. Clean up crew is here. Don't you worry about it. Okay, so we just added our milk, our whipping cream, our heavy whipping cream, and we just added our Nutella. Okay, next, Aislinn is adding one fourth cup of chocolate chips to our mixture. Ooh, this guys, I wish you can smell this. It smells so good. Now we are going to add um, one tablespoon of pure vanilla extract into the mixture. We have turned the heat to low heat. It was on medium heat. So now we're just gonna add our vanilla and our one pinch of salt. Okay, what are we doing next, Aislinn? I'm putting the pinch of salt into our hot cocoa that we're making. Oh, no more. There you go, good job. No stir. <gasps> Aislinn! <laughs> A pinch of salt turned into four, guys. Someone got cray cray with the salt. This isn't salted caramel drink. Did you lose control of yourself? Yes. Oh, now it's funny. It's an edible spoon. It's probably gonna overflow. Oh gosh, it's overflowing. It's over okay. Here. It's okay. That looks so good. Okay, I have a volunteer taste tester here. Go for it, Aze. Tell I'm us. Gonna, I'm gonna taste this first. She wants to taste the spoon. Yummy. Does it that. taste like peppermint? Yeah. That is amazing. <laughs> is it so good? So we're going to make my famous unicorn hot chocolate. So first we have some 
campfire marshmallows. Look how huge these, you wanna make sure to get ginormous marshmallows. That makes it so much more fun. And then we have our white chocolate chips, food safe marker, and then we have these um, strawberry straws. The strawberry straws are to turn it pink. You can use um, strawberry Hershey flavoring. We, this is just what we had, so we're gonna use it. And then we have two cups of milk. And then if you have the unicorn vibes, you know what sprinkles to pick. <laughs> Do yeah. you have the unicorn vibes? Um, yeah. Oh, and guys, we forgot the vanilla flavor. You, you've you been so excited to show them how to make this, haven't you? Yes, and guys, I'm just gonna show you how to make this thing. <laughs> she even put on her special onesie. Look at this. She is giving you guys all the unicorn vibe she has, aren't you? We're just gonna do one cup of white chocolate chips and put it in here. Now we are going to do the one tablespoon of vanilla. Okay, and Azy's gonna whisk that all together. Okay, the next thing we are going to do is use these strawberry milk flavoring straws. You can use the Hershey's strawberry syrup. We just had these on hand, so we are going to cut them open and empty them into the white hot chocolate to make it a pink color. found this um, food safe marker in the cake section at Walmart. few seconds and then we are going to twist them into a little unicorn for the top of this marshmallow. Okay guys so I just melted the little starburst and all I'm doing is twisting to make a unicorn horn. Yeah. Is that starting to look like a horn a little bit? Yeah it is. Okay. And I'm just and guys if you want to do it easier just make a little snake. Let's I'm using some pink starburst now. So we're just making a little unicorn horn. Yeah. So here's Azy's unicorn horn and she's just going to dip the base of it in some frosting to adhere it to her little unicorn. Go ahead, Ace. Yeah. Okay, get some frosting on there. And plop. <laughs> Sprinkles. <laughs> Flying everywhere. Okay, here is Aislinn's unicorn hot chocolate. We are 
are going to make the Grinch hot chocolate. We are going to use the same things we use for the unicorn hot chocolate. And this time we are just going to add a little green food coloring to make it look more like the Grinch. We are going to use some yellow starburst to make the eyes for the Grinch. And the same little food safe marker, food safe marker we used before. And then some vanilla and whatever sprinkles you want. Aislinn has her giant marshmallow and we have a um, cake paintbrush and all we have is food coloring mixed in with a little bit of water and all you want to do, you want to work kind of fast, but you want to do smooth strokes of the food coloring just to give it a brush of color. And this is going to be the Grinch's head. Good job, Aze. Okay, so I just pulled these Starbursts out of the microwave and as you can see, they are nice and soft, so I'm just gonna smush it down and cut out the shape of Grinch eyes. I'm just using my um, food oh, shears, and I'm going to just, so I cut out basically a triangle, and I'm gonna kinda smooth the end, ends over. Yeah, but, you know. Okay. This there is you what have we it. made our unicorn. There's one, one. yep. And let's do one more. Like done my mouth. Okay. So here's what we got for the eyes and we will adhere them with some frosting and then add the food safe marker for the eyeballs. Let's take a look at this eye. Oh gosh. Some white frosting here, that way it sticks to the marshmallow. It's kind of gonna act like glue. There's one eye. One thing we forgot to mention is we also bought Sour Punch straws and we are just going to use it to make some little spiky hairs sticking out from the Grinch's head. I just used the kitchen shears to cut these little strips and now I'm going to stick this in the top of the Grinch's head. I love the Grinch movie. Comment down below if you watch the Grinch movie every year. Okay guys, tell me how you think this came out. I think it came out cute. And let's finish our Grinch hot chocolate. Okay guys, we just poured the white, actually a green hot chocolate yeah. now. That looks amazing. Let's add the whipped cream and, and everything. And our sprinkle shooters are ready for action. <laughs> this little candy cane and I'm gonna stick it right there oh my goodness guys please let us know in the comments down below what you think go for it girl drum roll please <laughs> that's delicious <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> I just love the way it looks. I don't think I'd be interested in drinking green hot chocolate. No, it's literally good. Okay guys, we had so much fun making our three different hot chocolates with all of you. Now that we did all of them, what has been your favorite? My unicorn one. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Miss Unicorn here, love the unicorn one. My favorite decoration one was definitely the Grinch. However, the fa my favorite taste testing one was the Nutella 
peppermint hot cocoa. If you have not tried that, I will link it down below. It is amazing. This was my first time trying Nutella in hot chocolate and I highly recommend it. Anyway guys, that is it for this video. I gotta get Miss Sugar High over here to go brush her teeth. Wait, we are almost at 1,000 <gasps> oh, subscribers. Yes, Aislinn. Yes, oh my gosh, thank you so much for reminding me. So Aislinn is right. Today we got onto our YouTube channel and we saw we have 999 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. We weren't sure if even we would have like 10 people wanting yeah, to watch thanks. us. Thank you all for watching our videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a big thumbs up. And guys, just think of it, 1,000 people in a room, seriously, I love it. <laughs> all right guys, we will catch you on our next video. Good Goodbye. Um, easy. I'm trying to add a, like, She thought she was gonna add a cute nose, but now we got a weird pig looking <laughs> thing. <laughs> what is that? I'm trying to make a cute little nose, and they're not doing it's okay. Okay, we have one marshmallow right here. Ready. Did you just take a bite of this? <laughs> As long as it wasn't bad enough, Evelyn went and just took a bite out of his forehead. Thanks, so. <laughs>